It is the 4th of the 5th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I just got one story on SOT.net I want to cover tonight. Popo Volcano threatens millions with gas and ash. Mexico on high alert. Mexico City just 40 miles away from volcano throwing poison gases a mile up into the air. Uh, Mexico remains on high alert as the Popo Volcano continues to spew gas and volcanic gash into the air. Mexico's National Center for Disaster Prevention raised the threat level in April to its third highest warning in a seven-step scale. This indicates the possibilities of magma explosions and eruptions of increasing intensity. Definitely a volcano to watch out for. Over to the watchers. A supermoon this weekend, ETA Aquarid Meteor Shower and Venus Transit all this week. This week will provide the full moon's closest approach to Earth to a year, uh, to the Earth this year. On Saturday, May 5th, uh, the moon could appear as much as 14% bigger and 30% brighter than other full moons of 2012. According to some calculations, every month as the moon circles the Earth, uh, its elongated orbit, its distance from Earth varies, of course. This weekend, the moon is reaching what's known as its per perigee. Uh, that's the closest point towards the Earth. And uh, we definitely have a solar eclipse happening on the 20th this year as well. Or this month. New Zealand scientists voice concern over a most unusual event in 20 years of studies. Scientists in New Zealand are voicing concerns after monitoring the mutton bird population as it traveled back from spending um, the northern summer in Japan. In 2005, the scientists attached tracking devices to a portion of the bird population. Uh, the New Zealand mutton birders have been concerned ever since Fukushima plant started leaking radiation last March. Uh, the birds return to New Zealand every November to mate, but the Department of Conversa Con Conservation researcher uh, says the birds that did make it back were in very poor condition. Uh, I covered a story that was brought to my attention not too long ago uh, how they are actually only testing the feathers and not the actual meat of the birds for cesium exposure. Uh, so be advised. New volcano eruption in South Sandwich Island at Mount Curry. A new eruption in uh, the remote island South Sandwich chain was detected by NASA's uh, Aqua Satellite on the 27th of April. 50,000 fish found dead in pond um, in China. Uh, they're saying it's due to torrential rains and in a heavy, heavy industrial area on one side of the lake and pretty much killed everything in half the lake. And that's about all I want to cover today over there. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, the United Kingdom's got a severe weather or extreme weather uh, report up basically due to all the torrential rains and stuff. Uh, that they've had over the last week or so. Um, they pulled the water um, conservation, uh, but they're still telling their residents to be uh, scarce when you're using your water this summer. Uh, where was the other one? Hailstorm in Albany, New York. Uh, they're reporting they had four waves of hail roll through, um, some up to baseball size hail, and the contractors are out in force today. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, e, e News, nuclear expert, everybody is now paying attention to unit number four because we've had four years to go before fuel is removed. If water's lost, a beacon of radiation will bathe the site in shine sky from gamma rays, and that's from Arnie Gunderson, of course. A Kyoto nuclear professor, there is no longer any such thing as clean and safe food. After radiation from Fukushima spread around the planet, people who advance nuclear people who advance nuclear power should be made to eat extremely contaminated food. Uh, here, here. Japan reactor specialist at U.S. press conference. I am very worried about the progress of reinforcing number four fuel pool. Praying there won't be any large aftershocks. And again, they got four years to build this thing, and they better hope they don't have a big quake between now and then. Six days straight with uh, magnitude four quake above and above in Fukushima Prefecture. 
Nuclear expert on number four, fuel pool. They're pumping water in and it's draining out into the basement. They suck it out of the basement and put it back at the top. Quote, there is no containment. So the, the pool is already leaking. Um, they're just filling it up as fast or faster than it can drain out at the moment. Uh, yeah, I listened to this uh, radio interview. Gunderson, move south of the equator if number fuel pool four fuel pool goes dry like cesium from all 800 nuclear bombs ever dropped on earth except all at once and right on the Pacific Ocean. Japan is a nuclear tea bag seeping into the Pacific Ocean. One of the world's greatest food sources. Mystery reddish radioactive substance detected 180 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi. Alpha particles at 200 CPM uh, it's coming up through the cracks, apparently. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I'm going to cover there tonight. They've got a bunch of other stuff, of course. Uh, one other story I wanted to cover off of uh, Fukushima Diary Daily News. Hydrogen concentration is increasing. Air pressure is increasing in container vessel of reactor number two. Since TEPCO increased air exhaust from the amount from 17 to 38, uh, hydrogen, hydrogen concentration of reactor number two has been increasing. And like I told you, they increased the water not too long ago. Uh, now that we're getting reports that the hydrogen's actually increasing, uh, the fission is ongoing. Uh, one more story, limitless dosage of nuclear workers. TEPCO started manipulated dosage of nuclear workers Government, government agencies sought to raise Fukushima radiation exposure limit to 350 millisieverts. Uh, the government's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency demanded that the Health Ministry raise the allowable radiation exposure limit to 350 millisieverts. Insane. Effectu effectively for emergency workers trying to bring the crippled Fukushima nuclear disaster uh, under control. So they're bypassing all the safety measures. They're cutting corners. And remember, TEPCO took a week off for vacation. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.